Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about a back to school haul. I can't believe I'm literally doing a back to school haul. This is like the craziest thing ever. Just the thought of it, I'm like, wait, didn't Amelia just finish school like a week ago? I mean, to me, summer has gone by like this to Amelia. She's like, am I going back to school yet? Am I going back to school yet? Am I going back to school yet? So I finally was like, all right, let's give her a little bit of excitement and gear her up for school and I started doing our back to school shopping a little bit earlier. So we've had some of these items for a while now. Um, I just kind of collected them all together so I could do a big video at the end for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so the first item on the list, of course, is a backpack. I picked this one up at Pottery Barn. I think this one's called Mackenzie. Yeah, Mackenzie Kitty, and I got the large backpack. Now let me let you guys in on a tidbit. The smaller one is obviously way more affordable, um, and I was about to get that, and then I was like, you know what, this is the silliest thing ever, because the next item, which is the lunch bag, won't fit, it will fit in the small backpack, but that's about it, only this. And if you've got small kids, you know, if they ever have an accident while they're at school, and they gotta take home clothes, or if they've got books from like the library, or basically anything else to go in the bag is like next to impossible. So even though that the bag looks huge on your little tiny kid, just get the large one. They'll grow into it eventually anyway, so you can use it in the years to come. And I mean, it's just more efficient that way. Um, I also made sure I got the small lunch bag. The only reason I got the smaller lunch bag is because for one, look at how big it is already. Um, if you're packing for a little one, they don't really need something incredibly huge. Um, their stuff will fit in here. Um, and on top of it, Amelia already gets served her lunch at school. So I don't have to pack a lunch. I'm really only packing snacks in here. So this has been, this size works for us. The only reason I actually even bought a new one was because last year hers got completely ruined with some chocolate pudding. And so that brings me to the third item on the list. This is my first time grabbing one of these. This is the Vent Go Kids Durable Leak Proof Children's Lunchbox. I have seen so many reviews on this lunchbox. I am so excited for Amelia to try it. When I ordered it on Amazon, so when we got it in the mail, Amelia was super excited when she saw it. And I'll just open it up here for you guys. Ooh. So this is the lunchbox. It's super small. It's going to fit perfectly into her lunch bag. And basically the way it opens is it's got these two clips here on the side, which allow for it to be leak proof. And then you open it on up and you've got all your compartments in here um, to place all of your snacks. The reason I got this specifically was for this one feature for the fact that this here pops right out and can go right into the dishwasher. So you're saving on like using little baggies and saving on obviously dishes instead of having multiple dishes to put, you know, like a fruit here or this there, you know what I mean? So I mean like she can have her dips in here, her fruit or veggie or whatever over here, can put like some crackers, stuff like that. So it's just very easy to have everything separated. And because it has that leak proof, you don't, you don't have to worry about like your sauce that's right here getting over into here or anything like that so I was really really intrigued by this um, I made sure um, that Amelia was able to open and close it um, you know with their little hands and their little fingers sometimes things that may seem so easy to us like opening and closing this might be hard to them but Amelia honestly had no issues getting this open or closed so I don't have to worry about her when she's at school opening this and getting into her snacks and then of course to obviously as well throw in there, I got some ice packs. I was so ridiculous last year and I only had one ice pack floating around in my house in the fridge going back and forth between school and stuff. And some days I will admit I forgot to put it back in the freezer. So I was like, shoot, I can't make her um, a snack that's gonna be cold. I have to go with like dry snacks today. And I always wanna make sure I add in like a vegetable or a fruit or something into her snack that 
need to stay cold other than like an apple or something. So not having an ice pack was really, really, really hard to work with some days when I would forget. So I got a pack that has four of them in it just so that I know that there's always going to be an ice pack in the freezer if for whatever reason I forget to put it back into the freezer or whatnot. So I picked these up also on Amazon. Um, they are from fitfresh.com. And yeah, they're just some colorful um, ice packs that will fit perfectly in there because they're super thin. So they'll fit right into the lunchbox, even though the lunchbox does have um, that insulated um, perimeter to keep everything either cool or hot or whatnot. But this will just add, add that extra coolness. All right, staying in that same theme, the next item I also picked up was this cute little stainless steel water bottle, also from Pottery Barn, which Amelia has actually already started using. Um, we always get these water bottles. I think they're amazing. I love that they're just super easy to open. They've got the button. They've got a little... Um, Amelia's got a straw in here right now for I don't know what reason. Doesn't need a straw because there's already a straw inside, and then it's got the spout here. But, I mean, my kid likes to do innovative things so I mean whatever but and they also lock right up so you don't have to worry about spills or anything so I really really like these water bottles also the fact that they are stainless steel is amazing um, which means they're obviously BPA free so you don't have to worry about them getting hot or anything and the water does stay cold in here throughout the day for them what I normally like to do is I fill it up in the morning with cold water and some ice pop it into her bag and throughout the day she can sip on it. She usually goes through this, like the teachers tell me she drinks like a lot of water. Um, she always does refill, but I at least try to make sure that I send her with water from home just because the waters at schools, I mean, they're not probably the greatest. I don't know. Um, I'm just not a fan of like tap water and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I at least tried to get some filtered or alkaline water in here for her in the morning. And then from there on out, she can at least, you know, she's at least getting one serving of good water. All right, another item that I purchased on Amazon and I always get are these boogie wipes. I know these are for babies. People use them for their babies or whatnot, but I buy them in the big pack so that there's three. And I send two to school and one for my car, but they're just regular boogie wipes. I put them into her little cubby at school, so if she ever has like a nosebleed or a runny nose, she knows that they're there. Um, just because I find when you like blow with like toilet paper or Kleenex, like the little particles get in your nose and it's like, ugh, yeah. But I just like to have these for her. Um, they're also a requirement on her list for her kindergarten, so I mean, these are perfect. Um, they're unscented, obviously, made with natural saline. So I just feel a lot more comfortable with her using these, um, opposed to like a toilet paper or any other kind of paper, because it's just, it gets harsh on your nose if you do get sick. So these are just good to have, or if she's got any kind of nastiness on her mouth or nose or anything like that from food or anything like that. It's a quick, it's a quick, ooh, I can't talk today. It is a quick wipe away. That's why I keep one in my car as well. So that's just like another tidbit too as well. All right, so as some of you guys know, Amelia goes to a uniform school, so we do not have to worry about outfits or anything like that. We just go with a simple uniform, same thing every day. We don't have to worry about it, but we do have to pick a shoe and they do have to be dress shoes. So every year I pick up these bad boys. They are ugly as hell. These are such ugly shoes, but they are so durable. They're super comfy for Amelia. These are the Tucker and Tate. I think they're called, hold on, let me see. They are called the Molly shoe. I buy these every year. Um, just, well, not these specific Molly ones, but ones the style that looks like this and Tucker and Tate, just because they last all year. Um, her pre-K year, I had purchased a shoe right from where I get her uniform and the shoes lasted like, I kid you, six months. They were scuffed up, they were done, they were like falling apart. Um, they were just not good. Um, as you know, the kids are running around at this age all the time, no matter what, even though they are in uniform. Most kids who are not in uniform, usually their parents will send them to school in sneakers. However, my child is in a uniform, so she has to wear dress shoes. So you wanna make sure you get dress shoes that are gonna be super durable and last you throughout the year. Well, as much as you can. Obviously their feet grow, so sometimes by the end of the year, well, this year, Amelia, by the end of the year, she grew out of it. So I just picked up a cheap pair from Walmart for the end of the year for the last couple um, months or whatever, like I think two months. But from the most part for the whole year, 
Um, you want to make sure you have a durable pair. So these Tucker and Tate ones are perfect. Amelia says they're comfy. They're just an easy Velcro little strap here. So that makes it super easy for her tiny little hands. And yeah, I would really recommend these if you do have a daughter. I know they have um, boy ones that are just really easy to slip on for boys as well. So these are bomb. Now, even though she does wear a uniform and has to wear dress shoes indoors, outdoors, she has to wear regular outdoor shoes, which you can wear sneakers. And the only sneakers I ever buy are these right here. I bought these ones. These are the boy ones. Um, they were on sale at the Nordstrom sale. Shoot me for them being boys, whatever. Amelia was fine with them. It doesn't really matter. They do the trick because these are called play shoes. These are my favorite sneakers to buy for Amelia. You, if you have me on Instagram or Snapchat, you might have seen me post these before. Um, the reason I love these so much is you can actually throw these into the wash. All you have to do is, hmm, let me take this out. All you have to do is take the insole out, throw it in the wash, throw the entire shoe, yes, the entire shoe, into the wash, wash them on a regular cycle, and take them out, let them air dry, boom. Shoes are clean, brand new shoes. Like I think Amelia had like a really big run in with mud last year, and I mean all the girls in her class did, and their shoes came home one day after like a big rainstorm, like full of mud, full of mud. And I was like, oh, every parent was like, oh my God, their shoes, their shoes, you know, all worried, and I didn't care. I just came home, took them apart, threw them into the wash. They were good as new the next day. The teachers were like amazed as to how I got them so clean overnight. And I was like, oh, I threw them in the wash. And they were like, what do you mean? And I'm like, these are play shoes. You can throw them into the laundry. And when I told them that, they must have told like every parent in the class. And the next day, every kid had these freaking shoes. These are the bombest shoes ever. Like if you have a kid, you have to have a pair of play shoes. Like I cannot stress it enough. You have to, have to, have to get these shoes. It will make your life so much easier. And the thing that's great is also you can take out the insole um, as their foot grows. And if they, you know, the fit, their shoe doesn't fit them anymore, you know, the insole will give them that extra little space as well uh, for a little while longer. So I really, really do love these shoes. Um, they come in an array of styles. I mean, her, the shoes she had last year were I, low key, kind of ugly, the style. But I mean, these are blue, they're for boys, but whatever, they will do. Actually, I shouldn't even say they're for boys. They say that they're for boys, but they can be for anybody. But anyways, yeah, so if you haven't heard of these shoes and your kid doesn't have one of these shoes, you gotta get them. Get on it. Okay, so the next couple items, I'm just going to kind of pop pictures in right here so you can see what they are um, because I don't have them physically on hand with me right now because they're either in the mail coming from Amazon or in the mail coming from Amazon. Yeah, basically coming from Amazon. Everything comes from Amazon. I swear Amazon is like this like special place for me. But anyways, moving along. The first item is going to be labels. I make sure I label everything that Amelia sends to school from her clothes, her shoes, um, headbands, like literally everything. Um, because things get lost, they get put in the lost and found, nobody knows who they are, they sit there. I have a four-year-old, well, almost five-year-old, and chances are she is not checking the lost and found for things she has lost, and your kid probably isn't either. So if you put their name on stuff, at least if somebody is to see it, they'll give it to her opposed to dropping it into the lost and found box. I just find that like when something gets put into the lost and found box, it kind of just becomes fair game. And like there are people who do take stuff out of lost and found and it's not theirs and like they just take it anyways, which I think is kind of messed up. But anyways, um, it becomes fair game. So as long as you've got their name on it, you know like that is your kids. It can't go missing. Well, it can go missing, but I mean, at least it's labeled. It just makes it easier. Like if your kid's like, oh, is this my water bottle? Oh, yes, Amelia, yes, this is mine. So, I mean, that's what I tend to do with all of her items to take to school. So labels are major. The next item you're gonna wanna make sure you pack in your kids a backpack is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer comes in an array of different kind of like styles. You can get a spray, you can get the like regular alcohol, squeezy ones, you can get wipes, whatever you feel works best for your kid. I personally wouldn't trust Amelia with like one of those squeezy ones or even like the liquid ones. So I just buy wipes for her so she can just take out, you know, like one wipe and wipe her hands if she needs to or if we're in the car or if she's about to eat a snack, anything like that. Just 
to kind of make sure that she is keeping good hygiene and making sure that she's getting rid of germs before she eats food and stuff like that. I'm really big on that, as you guys know. So that is a major thing. So make sure you pack sanitizer. So I guess that concludes the end of the video. That is all the items I send Amelia to school with. I mean, Amelia still is in kindergarten, so I don't have to worry about like books and paper and markers and all that kind of stuff because we have it at home. Um, already like she doesn't I don't send her to school with it um, but she does have it in her like I guess art supply studio stuff here at home so it's not stuff that I have to worry about but these items are items that I do send her to school with and I think every parent should send their kindergartner with so hopefully the video was helpful to you if you are stuck on what to send your child with and if you have a kid that's maybe starting JK or pre-k and you have no idea what to send them with. Hopefully this list helped you out a bit. And if you liked the video, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. any lipstick on right now actually now for real <laughs> do you give me a little bit thanks dude you're welcome <laughs>